getting in the cross face. Or, uh, do you want to just do, we'll go into showing a straight up cross face. Okay, yeah. And then I'll show you how to tighten it while we're in it. So, my, uh, my cross face, I like to get into it. First, we got to flatten them out. I like to far knee, far ankle, drive them right to their side. Um, first reason why is the initial reaction, the arm comes straight out in front. I don't really have to work too hard to come up and get this cross face. Um, so I hit that far knee if their ankle, if their wrists are in, um, like tight, like they're closing up. All right, and you can't hit this cross face. You know, a lot of people say push the, push the elbow up, make them ask a question like they're in class, but that's not gonna get you much if they're nice and strong in there. So I'll take those wrists um, when they're closed up and I'll, I'll post the elbow up here and turn it out and then come across on this cross face. When I hit this cross face, I like coming right across that orbital bone right there, right across, right by the side of the eye, all right, right across the top of the cheek right there. My, my bony forearms do not make that feel comfortable down in there. And okay. I'm hitting this, planting the hand right behind the bend of the knee. When I plant this hand, this hand does not move until he kisses his knee. All right, so I oh, plant, that's what? oh yeah, yeah. All right, so I plant this hand right in the bend of his knee. And like I said, that hand does not move until he kisses his knee. Now I'm gonna pick up his upper body and I'm gonna set it right on his knee. Knock, I can't make him kiss his knee. <laughs> I got him close, but now he's kissing his knee, right? So I lock hands. I like to keep this arm. If I can lock wrist, my wrist, I'll do that. But if I don't have that luxury, I just need to get my hands together, get it locked. I go, uh, thumbs on the side, palm to palm, that butterfly grip right there. But for now, I'm gonna take lock right to my wrist. Getting hip to hip, all right? Try not to step over this leg. We're walking, walking it back. When we're here, all right, a couple tricks to keep this tight. I pinch my elbows together. When I pinch my elbows together, I push that. I'm pushing his arm out. So watch, like, this space in here. It gets, gets nice and tight in there, nice and slim. But we can't gotta make sure we're we're still keeping it tight. We don't lose the integrity of the cradle. Because if I'm pushing him here, all right, and I'm straightening this out, he's got a nice flexible neck. His head can pop right out. All right, so here, tightening, tightening those, pushing the hands away. All right, once we got that nice and tight, we work this bottom knee into the bend of this hip. We're pushing this hip away, pulling that knee right into us, and the forehead. Right in the temple, a soft spot right behind the orbital. And then we are, uh, he'll be kicking here. You gotta catch that on the down. All right, keep it in here. All right, when, say you you get this cradle, one thing I do, it, if, if there's like no time left, and uh, there's like 10 seconds left, you absolutely need the pin. Um, but you know you're not gonna give up the position. And I'll go all the way through it. Probably. Pushing up, cradle, post in, make him kiss his knee, hip to hip, pull it back. All right, I got like 10 seconds left. Coach is yelling, I need the fall. You gotta get the fall. All right, I'll hip down, flatten out, almost like a, a reverse half mission type look here, and just flatten back and try and pull that shoulder flat. Not gonna be able to pull him there long, that's why it's a, a last second try and get that fall. Uh, <clears throat> another item when you got that, you knock them down, you run the, run the cross face, and you run this knee, you lock it up. I used to, you get behind here, and you drive it up, so he's almost wanting to go to his back, and then you come over. That way, sometimes they can block it and prevent you from hipping that back. But if you get behind that knee and drive it towards his head and really get it up in there, you can then drive him over and, and bring him back. So I'll show up one more time. So break him down. They can kiss his knee. And then drive behind that knee until it comes over. Put it back. Any questions? <clears throat> 